it's November 7th, 2023, morning hunt, sat in a different spot, today I call East Line, it's uh, got a really active scrape, and it was a northwest wind today, so the wind was perfect, except for this little swale here, the wind kind of would go you know, down into the hollow, uh, I think, so, pretty, so, it was like 40 degrees, 38, 40 degrees, but the wind has been pretty heavy, six miles an hour plus, of course, gusty, and it's, when it really gets going, it gets a little chilly, right before I got here this morning, five minutes, as a matter of fact, there was a nice 10 point on this scrape and he's also at the scrape at about midnight last night so about six hours or so he's coming to the scrape today anyway <clears throat> we had a rainstorm yesterday didn't really see many deer out and about at all Today I had a doe and two fawns come right to the scrape, right underneath me. She followed me, my steps right in. But her fawns and everything just worked in this. It's not really a hinge cut. I just cut the stuff down to get some daylight in there. And so I could shoot that lane right over there. But they were, and I wanted to funnel deer around instead of through they'd always cut through here right to the left and and uh i wouldn't get an opportunity especially when the wind is either going to the east or to the southeast well the doe worked its way into the swamp there she kind of smelt something there way behind me so i'm gonna give my scent control today about a b i guess um but it was cool. I was hoping Buck would be following him, but that's not happening. The Buck, why the Buck is around here, because they, they kind of like to hang out right in here during the daylight. They do their bedding not too far away, and they get up in the middle of the day, and they work this little swale here, eat, go back and lay down. And that happened at about 10.30. Uh, there was a doe in there, and again, she made her way behind me a little bit, smelled me, but I don't know where she went. But I don't know why that buck is checking this swale in the middle of the night when doe are not back here yet. Doe don't get back here no matter what, because there's a cornfield about two properties over. There's a hay field to my north. And there's lots of other, in my food plots, and there's other food plots in the area, but um, they're working those fields at night and then coming back here during the day. And I don't know why he was working this during the middle of the night. He should be working it right now, you would think. Um, but I sat a daylight, um, so I got five hours in here. And uh, I have to get the kids so I'm gonna to have to shut it down for today and get some work done and get ready to get the kids I guess my rut report today would be I haven't seen much at all the doe fa doe and doe families uh, change patterns maybe I'm over hunting them I don't know um, you know going off camera there was another one on camera but not a lot of deer movement uh, last couple days Sunday was a big movement day um, and you know just a, that one buck on camera in the middle of the night but uh, tomorrow is supposed to rain all day and then Thursday Friday is supposed to get drop in temperature and so hopefully it, uh, it'll be a good time for hopefully peak rut. You would think the bucks would be on their feet a lot more roaming around. And, and maybe they have 
I haven't got them on camera, but uh, I'm hearing from other places that they're on their feet and walking around. So uh, anything can happen at any time.